Hi everybody, this is Scott Davenport and today I wanted to share with you one of the new features that's coming in Perfect Photo Suite 9.5. My friends at Onwan were kind enough to let me get my hands on a copy early, play around with it, and I'm quite excited to show you one of the new features, uh, luminosity masks. So um, luminosity masks are a very powerful masking technique and I like a whole lot how on ones made it easy to create them and to apply them in uh, both layers and effects. So what is a luminosity mask? Uh, the easiest way to explain this is really to show you it's a, a grayscale rendering of your image but applied as a mask. So let me go to simple mask create luminosity mask and the photo is going to shift in a bit of a strange way here. I'll explain what's going on. So if you look over in the layer stack, you see the, the image and then this you know, quite intricate mask that is a uh, grayscale version of you know, really this, this, this layer. And uh, let me show you in the mask view mode. You can see this much better. Yeah. Here's the, the grayscale version of that scene. But it's a mask. So what does that mean as a mask? Well, it means the darkest areas, like underneath this rock here and uh, you know, underneath the waves, that's removing all of that, uh, you know, that portion of the layer. And the grayscale, the grayish areas, that's a partial remove, you know, some type of uh, less than 100% opacity uh, of, uh, you know, masking away something. And the brightest areas we keep. And so the end result, you have, you know, this very um, intricate uh, mask where the darker portions of the scene have been masked away, the brighter portions have kept, and there's you know, a very um, you know, intricate fades between all these various areas with just a single click. So that's what a luminosity mask is. Now how can we use it? So let me reset the mask. Now one of the uh, techniques we can use is uh, with a uh, combination of the blending modes. So let's do a duplication of this layer. And um, I'm going to shift the top layer to use, let's see, overlayer soft light. I like what soft light is doing there. And this is a very um, straightforward technique for you know, adding some more contrast and punch to the image by blending it with itself, just using a different blending mode. And this is looking pretty good, except the, the rock areas are getting very dark, you know, too dark for my taste. You know, this was before we did anything, and this is after. The sky is looking great. This area is looking dark. Now in the past, I would have gone for the masking bug or the masking brush and tried to work my way through here and uh, remove some of this top layer so that we'd have a, a more natural looking scene. And that's doable, completely possible, and just takes a fair amount of time. Now with uh, Suite 9.5, I can grab a luminosity mask and do this just a whole lot faster. So I'm gonna go up to the mask menu and choose Create Luminosity Mask. And we're going to see that these rocks and these darker areas are being revealed. So, you know, again, the image is still a little more, a little more flat. Um, but, you know, the way I like to approach processing is get a good baseline image where you've got reasonably flat, but all of your tones in order, and then bring it into effects to finish things off. So uh, this is, uh, you know, much better. And again, showing you the mask, I'll show you the red version of the mask this time. You know, it's, this is something that would be very, very difficult to have brushed in. Okay, you know, little touches going on in the clouds. These darker areas are getting in. You know, it's very smoothly blended with the, the mid-tones and shadows. Um, and with just the click of a button, you get a nice, crisp, clean luminosity mask that just does wonders for this particular image. So let's do one other thing. Um, let's take a layer, new stamped layer. So I'll combine those two into a single layer. It's kind of like my base, my base flat image there. Let me remove or hide those two layers. So sure enough, this is the only layer we have active now. And uh, I want to add a little more color into the sky. So I'm going to do that with a color fill layer. I'll click that and let me move this over to the side. So you can see what's happening here. Color fill layers, there's a few options here. And you can choose, you know, different, different colors and tones. I'm going to stick with a warming filter. Uh, it just puts this orange thing here. And I can play with the opacity of the slider. This is the same as the layer opacity here. It's just a convenience that you can do it right here in the uh, fill layer dialog. So you can just choose what you need. And I like it about 20. I'm mainly looking at the sky. 
and I can also change the blending modes. And I'm going to guess somewhere in soft light or overlay, things are going to look good. I like overlay. It's a little more, a little more orange, a little more bright. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click OK. And this is applied to the entire image. And again, I like what it's doing in the sky, and I like the, you know, the highlights and the waves getting that touch of orange. I don't want it so much in the rest of the rocks. So I will, I'll use a luminosity mask to, uh, to help me out here. I'm going to highlight the layer that's got our full image on it. And this time, from the layer menu, I'll choose Copy Luminosity as Mask. So that takes that grayscale rendering of this image and copies it to the buffer. I'll highlight the fill layer and then choose Mask, Paste Mask. And we're going to see that that orange toning is being removed from the shadowy areas and just maintained on the sky and a bit more in this reflection down the bottom. So before and after. And that's just with a couple of clicks, um, creating these luminosity masks and uh, combining them with color fill layers, blending modes. Um, you can get a lot of uh, very nice results, very uh, powerful, intricate masks with just a couple of clicks. And again, these luminosity masks are available not only in layers, but also in the effects module. And this is just one of several cool features that are coming in uh, Suite 9.5. So uh, I'm anxious for the final release to come out. And uh, hopefully after seeing this, you are too.